we are here. As you can see, I'm in the chair. Um, she's so sweet. I love my stylist. Um, so we just now went over what it is that I'm going to get, the color, what I want it to look like. So she's actually going to go get the color now, and then we're going to apply it. Um, and they estimate about three, maybe four hours, which is what I anticipated anyway. And then after this, we're supposed to go to DTLA. We got a few events today. I want to catch um, one of these art exhibits that basically leaves LA today. Only thing is, we're gonna see what time they close because I think they close at six. And um, the other thing is a pop-up art gallery. Um, the music artist Buddy will probably be there. So that'll be fun for us to do and obviously get content and stuff. So she said that she doesn't mind us recording. Um, and we only have me in the in here. So, um, but yeah, so you guys are vibing out. I'm gonna end it here and then pick back up when we get started. Just do it this way, get a little bit of footage at least. I always do that, I get in the like mix of stuff and I totally forget to press record and then I always have to say, sorry y'all, y'all missed it. Let me just give you a recap of what happened. <laughs> yeah. So I like, I'm very, I don't know, like so my holy grail is the Laneige lip sleeping mask. I don't just use it for sleeping like I use it like all day every day and I have them everywhere like beside my bed in my bathroom and different purses like I, I swear by them but it can be pricey because if you get a Sephora it's like $24.99 for each one but if you go to Tarte I mean not Target if you go to TJ Maxx or uh, Marshalls they do and it's only like $14.99 but anyway I need to just smell the um, hair perfume because like I know that like super fragrant things isn't the best for you you know like if it like has a super, super potent smell but like I still want it to smell nice you know what I mean so I was curious about that I actually have it in my shopping cart on, on the Sephora app but I, I always like to I don't like to blind buy as much I want to go in the store and I want to smell it yeah okay y'all so this is what we're looking like um, as you can see it's lightning a lot we have like five more minutes she's gonna put a shower cap on we put a little glove over my ear because you guys know i got the piercing or whatever and have to basically get it re-pierced so didn't want any um chemicals on the piercing so yeah that's what it looks like and then any of the straight pieces that y'all see i'm just gonna cut those because that's just from um the chemicals and stuff like that on my curly hair but yeah so super cute and we're just trying to get it as light as possible so that the pink can actually adhere to it properly. So yeah, we're gonna put the shower cap on. Set y'all up. Yep, that's great. Yay. Update. Hopefully you can hear me. We are blonde. Okay. Super blonde. You can see it here. Oh, that might actually be conditioner. I'll tell her about that before we put the color on. But yeah, now we're about to do the pink. It's not even, I don't think it's two o'clock yet. So um, we're doing good on time. A lot of the LA events that we're going to go to, some of them close at six, but the one that I really want to go to doesn't end till 10. So after leaving here, we'll go home, put on a little city fit, um, and then head down there. So yeah, we'll wait for her to come. Like pull up to the party, pay a bad bitch rent. We ain't blood, we ain't kin, don't be calling me sis. First bitch, sneak piss, first black kid, pink bitch. Light on out the little one. Bitches wanna come up, ain't gon' give them one. Pull up in the skirt, then I pull off in a different one. A bigger one, expensive one, a lamb or something. Put a switch on the ass like a grand or something. Niggas getting knocked out, sign the RCA, but I be feeling like the top dog. Probably getting top five, something with the top five. Never did the talking, always been the right top five. So we are about to rinse it out. It's very pink. <laughs> I gotta get used to it. I really do because it's hella pink right now. But we're about to rinse it out and do all that stuff. So you guys are gonna see. Um, that's what we're looking like. Ah! I'm so nervous because like 
it's just like when I go blonde or like a different stage of blonde, I just have to get used to it. But like day three, I'm cool. So that's why I wanted to do this before my birthday and before like all of my birthday stuff to let my hair rest. You know what I mean? It's just like when you are getting braids and stuff like that, you have to get used to your braids or let them loosen up before everything. So yeah, I'm about to rinse it out. Okay. Okay, so my brother's having to get me right. Because they didn't mess me up or nothing necessarily. But it wasn't quite the color that I envisioned. And also my sideburns, some of it is still black, which happens when I do it too. But I feel like it would look more polished, especially for people to know that I went and got it professionally done. I want it to look professional. Just might be mindful of your thumb being out here. Yeah, you want to get this back for Yeah, so I don't think it'll be bad to take that away. Okay, y'all, so I guess I'll give you a little explanation on what happened. So as you can see in the last clip, it was super, super pink, like fuchsia, right? And there was no lighting over there near the wash bowl. So they were like, okay, we can tone it down a little bit, but they didn't realize what the true color was. So when I got back over to the chair, it was like varying pink. It was like really hot pink in, around my perimeter, but then like frosted light pink in the middle. So I didn't want them to do it again because I didn't want it to be like fuchsia, like how the front was. So I won't say that I was botched or anything like that, but you know, it is a hair school, so they are learning. And then I don't know why they didn't have lights over there near the wash bowl. So especially when you're doing color, so you could see the true color. Um, again, my stylists were absolutely amazing. I love them so much. We had great conversation. We actually exchanged numbers and Instagrams and stuff like that. But I did need my brother to um, just kind of like line me up better, take away some of the... Um, like black areas and stuff like that where I still had my black hair showing um and then just kind of you know do all that type of stuff so we're just kind of talking here and basically what I'm going to get ready to do is go ahead and get in the shower rinse my hair and put on my curly hair products because like the normal service is that they will blow dry your hair and do all that stuff but I'm obviously natural so I didn't need any of that service which is why I kind of left and it looks like very unfinished it's because it has no product in it no curly hair conditioner nothing like that and they really didn't have stuff like that there um so yeah so as you can see here i'm just going ahead and just taking my own little scissors and just kind of trimming the areas and um my brother just kind of giving me his opinion on it and what he thought that it was going to look like and stuff and everything like that but you know whenever you're getting your hair colored like even when i do it myself because this is the first time i've gone and gotten my hair done like in a very long time professionally especially with color um but because i was going pink i really didn't want to do it on my own um but going forward if i do choose to go pink again or a different color I will go to the hair school and get my hair dyed blonde because they did a great job doing that part of things. And then I'll just do the other half myself. So I ain't been here but three times, so we didn't see me. Because the last time I came, 
people. Hey, it's your girl. Um, today is August the. <clears throat> not my voice going out. August the 21st. Um, my birthday is in a couple of days. My birthday is on Saturday. But I'm not rushing it because, like, that means, like, the sooner that my birthday's here, like, the sooner, like, I only have, like, a week and a half left of my vacation after that. So I'm just enjoying every day, taking every moment. Um, your girl's looking a little rough, but we're about to get it together. <laughs> I'm about to take a shower, obviously. Um, and do all my stuff, get my hair together, okay? Each morning I wake up, I'm getting more, like, used to the pink. But, like, each morning or whenever I get up to go use the restroom or something like that, I look in the mirror. Like, I walk past the mirror and I'm like, oh, my God, you're pink. Like, it's like I keep forgetting. So, yeah. Um, but it's growing on me. It's growing on me. Like I said, like, I do this when I go blonde. Like, a really, like, when, I'm, when I've had, like, my um, blonde with my black roots for a while and then I dye my hair completely platinum or whatever. I'm like, whoa, you know, it's kind of like a shock, but I think by Wednesday, I will be like, okay, <laughs> like I'm used to it. Um, Wednesday, actually, we head to Palm Springs, so that's going to be fun, my first time ever going, and we're just staying overnight, um, me and my brother, and, um, but I just wanted to get out of town, like I just wanted to get out of town, I unfortunately wasn't able to go out of the country for my birthday. Um, and so I was just like, I, I still want to like, you know, cause the thing about it is it's like when you live in LA or you like your, you live here, like it's no longer like you're here all the time. You know what I mean? I wanted to see something new. So anyway, we got Palm Springs to look forward to. I don't know if in this vlog or the next one, it might be mixed in with this one. Cause I really haven't been doing much. Um, we're going to need to pack. So we're not only going to have to figure out our fits and content uh, stuff for Palm Springs, but we also have to try to get together an outfit for everyday people, which is a day party. I don't know if y'all are familiar, but it's a very like popular day party that started in New York and then it's grown so popular that it's in major cities. Okay. So like they have it in Chicago, in LA, New York, Johannesburg, uh, Africa, South Africa, um London like it's all over the place and um it's my first time we I, well I've lived here for two years in September and we have not been able to secure tickets the one time that we secured tickets we were on the wait list and we forgot about it and then we got an email like an hour before the party was supposed to start and we were in chill mode so we just had to eat the cost of those tickets but this time it's everyday people on my exact birthday on Saturday um so we're gonna go. I really wanna put y'all a down, but I can't cause we're about to get in the shower if you get my dress. Um, so, yeah. Then I was wondering, cause like, you know how like they be having like cute little B-roll shots of them in the shower, but y'all, I don't know if I got the patience for that right now. I'm getting better with my angles and stuff like that. Just work with me, bear with me, bear with me, okay. But anyway, let me go do this so we don't prolong the day. I don't know what's in store for the day because yesterday I was supposed to go to a coffee shop, coffee shop to edit, but I didn't get a chance to um, because the weather was so bad. But I think today, hold on. I have to aim y'all up so that you didn't get no, didn't get no uh, shots. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's still overcast, but it's not raining. Okay, so we'll be able to run. Well, I don't really have errands, but we'll be able to. Uh... Hold on. My brother's not here. I'm weird. I'm like, I like every door closed in um, his space. I just like that. We're out in the kitchen now. It's like a cave in here because obviously I was asleep. We gonna we gonna open up the. Let's see, I'm in the living room. <laughs> I gotta be so careful about my mirrored things in here, so you guys don't get a show.
Yeah, I know I'm looking rough, y'all. Okay, I just had to angle y'all down a little bit because I was, you know, there are some weirdos not trying to show where I live. Okay. All right, let me shower. <laughs> I gotta do my hair. When I come back, I'm gonna be looking like a human. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> fresh out the shower. Smelling good, looking good. Um, well, we always smelling good, but you know what I'm saying. I can't go out in, okay, one thing, well, it's several things about me, but your girl takes a lot of showers a day. I just, if I go outside and come back inside, I have to take a shower. Like, I don't like the outdoor on me. I damn sure I can't get in the bed dirty. Um, don't wear outdoor clothes inside. I instantly, after coming from inside outside, have to change my clothes because it's like, no, I'm not going to know. So anyway, um, I can't go out in public without showering. That's just my personal prep. Oops, y'all are falling. That's just my, um, I got to set that because of how I aimed y'all. But yeah, that's just my personal preference. But yeah, I... Sorry, y'all. This thing keeps moving because I don't have y'all actually on a witcher bomb. But yeah, I just can't do it. I would feel self-conscious. Um, and like I said, it's like no one, I smell amazing. Like I don't mean it to my own horn, but I've never had any complaints of any kind. It's just hygiene for me is just extremely important. Um, being a girl, yes, but just like, I don't know, I'm just really into body washes and fragrances and smelling good or whatever. And so like, even if I just have to run to a grocery store or whatever in the morning, I'm taking a quick shower. Like, um, yeah, like people who have experienced being in my energy, let's just say that being in my energy knows, like I'm gonna take a shower at eight o'clock in the morning or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I may get back in bed, um, you know, and cuddle and stuff with you or whatever. Um, or just lounge but I had to take a shower first and really the best sleep is after you've taken a morning shower and get back in the bed like you're clean your sheets are clean and you just get back in the bed and fall back asleep like that's like the best sleep ever okay you're just gonna have to stay there for a second I haven't decided if um I, okay this is what I want to know too I got so many things in my head right now that it's just like spitting out but so I've been using the Topicals Faded Cream, right? And I have two different ones because Topical sent me a package, a PR package, and gave me this, the mister. But I have beauty marks and freckles that I do not want faded. I just want to fade dark marks. So does anybody know, like, because I've seen some influencers apply this across their entire face. But these are influencers that I can't, like, on the camera, I don't see that they have freckles and stuff like that and beauty marks on their face. So I've just been scared to put it all over my face. So instead, what I do is I just apply it to the areas, like, that I just want to fade. Yeah, because I don't want to, like, apply it up here. I have, very, like, beauty marks and stuff, moles, um, freckles all over my face. And I don't know. I've just always been wondering about that. And I look crazy as hell, y'all. <laughs> if any men happen to be watching this, like, this is what we do. Like, skincare. Like, I hope y'all take care of y'all skin, too. Um, but, yeah, so I have some dark marks from... I don't even have... Like, I'm not acne prone. Um, I have occasional, like, I never, first of all, my skin used to be impeccable. That was one of the things that I prided myself on. And I think I told y'all about this before. But when I hit 30, okay, your girl's skin just kind of, like, my hormones changed, I think. And so, it's like, even if I have, like, a blackhead or just one um, one mark or whatever, one pimple or whatever, um, or breakout, it leaves a dark mark. It's taking me, especially right here. Um, and I think that if you have breakouts right here, it's hormonal. I think it is. I don't know. I have to look at that chart again. But um, yeah, so I apply it right here because I have discoloration um, right here in my chin area and then near my mouth. Um, and then right here. And I usually just like let it sit for a second and then I rub it in. But like I said, I don't like to actually carry it up my face because that's where I have that stuff so I don't know somebody who uses that let me know I really probably need to just ask the topicals team <laughs> I feel like
like, you guys are so curious. But, yeah. Not me trying to flash y'all. This is the best, well, it focus. This is the best moisturizer. Like, it literally moisturizes my skin so well. Like, I don't know if you guys can see just what it did, but this is Korean skincare, Soon Jong. Um, I got this from Amazon, but a lot of people, okay. <laughs> not y'all falling. Okay, a lot of the Korean skincare now is being sold at like Ulta and Sephora and stuff, but that is the truth. Like, I'm not even gonna hold you the truth um you know because i just got my hair colored it tends to obviously like you've dyed your hair and stuff like that so um i'm just gonna apply some oil to my hair i normally don't like to apply too much oil but this is almond oil and if you hear that sound that's all of my different products in my hair right now um my curly products but yeah i will say that like when i do my hair oops when I do my hair color sometimes the integrity of my curls like they loosen like I end up doing too much damage to my actual hair and then I have to cut it but because I went and got it professionally done um, my curl pattern for the most part is still okay so I didn't have to do a lot of cutting and stuff like that once I got home it's some areas that it was just a little straight because of the highlighting and the lightning and the bleaching and stuff but for the most part it did pretty well but yeah i'm just applying some almond oil just to kind of soften it and to put the moisture back in there um yeah so that's pretty much this Oof. Child. but yeah can y'all see you see how like moisturizing it is oh Hey, oh, I forgot I unplugged her. So I say, hey, oh, but she's unplugged right now. Um, I need to move her back into my bathroom. That's where she normally is. But I had to move my Alexa into the living room because my brother hadn't, because uh, we had gotten a new Wi-Fi box um, and he didn't set up his, which is normally in the living room. So um, yes, we're a household with two different AIs. <laughs> so sometimes I'm like calling Alexa, Google and Google Alexa. And then, God forbid, I need some answer from Siri, who never helps me. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to decide, y'all, what I want to do today. Like, on my itinerary, which I'll try to put right here so you guys can see it. Um, I created this, by the way. <laughs> um, on my itinerary, I have Bubble World, which is like this new, like, interactive, you know, like, each city has something like this. But it's really cool. But I wanted to go during the week because I don't want hardly any kids there and I know majority of the kids are back in school which is good um for this type of experience because otherwise you know it's like you know it's for anyone um but obviously because it's interactive and fun most kids would be there so I was trying to go during the week when it's less of that just so I can get some content and just indulge my inner child so the whole purpose of my itinerary that I created is like doing things that like either I wouldn't normally do or doing things that I did love to do so much like going to coffee shops and museums and stuff like that like just just doing whatever the hell I wanted to basically um the only thing is is like I tried to find a good amount of free things but obviously like we're in LA so <laughs> majority of the stuff does cost um Sorry, I'm trying to bring y'all into the light a little bit because I have a little bit of a shadow. Um, but the tickets are damn near $30. So I don't know. Like, I'm going to look at some more videos and just see if it's worth it. But I really do think it is because it's tons of, like, different little things. But I don't know. I wanted to do it when my sister was here, um, when my family was here and stuff like that. But, uh, like, a couple weeks ago. Was it a couple weeks or like a week and some change? I think like a week and a half ago they were here. Um, but we didn't get a chance to do it. So, yeah. I still need to edit this YouTube video. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's like longer form content. Like, I just feel like it takes forever. Um, but then I'm able to do these, edit these TikTok videos, you know. And, and I'm like, well, sometimes with your TikToks, that's like 10 minutes with, worth of footage that you're having to whittle down. And since working like I'm like not even halfway through editing the vlog but since starting editing the YouTube vlog I've probably put up 
four to five TikToks and reels. So it's just like, Casey, you could have been done with your YouTube. So I really have to prioritize that today. Like no matter me wanting to edit some more short form uh, content, I really have to get the YouTube video out because technically the vlog has not been um, uploaded and it's been two weeks since my last vlog. And I have to have some consistency over there because um, I'm really trying to build it up, obviously. So we're close to a thousand on YouTube, which is so awesome. Um, but I do want to build a community over there and I have to be consistent in order to do that. So <sighs> exhausted. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm not going to film it y'all because I'm just going to get it done. Like I, I know, I know vloggers probably struggle with that. Like sometimes you don't want to film something because like the different angles you have to move the camera to and the different stuff like that like I don't know I'm still jumping into this a little bit and then plus uh, the issue is too because I film on so many different platforms I just did a making my bed video on my Instagram stories which was like a four minute video that I typically do on Sundays over there so I just kind of did this so anyway saying all that to say that I'm just gonna make up my bed and get my stuff together in my room but I will be back when it comes to picking my outfit um, I don't know. The sun looks like it's coming out, y'all. This might be a cute ass day. So let me also figure out what the weather is going to be. Um, and then we're going to put on a cute fit. This will be the first day that I'm like actually wearing my hair out in public by myself. And I'm just going to own it. Like I might get some stares or whatever. I know people are going to be like, oh, I like your hair. I'm like, thank you. Um, it's all about confidence for real. Like I'm sure people were saying to me when I had blonde, it's just that blonde was just a more recognizable in like tra traditional, um, color i mean obviously it's not as traditional on me on a on an african-american person but um still it's like a more acceptable color so you know but i don't i don't blend in okay i stand out hmm. all right i'll see y'all in a second with you you knew you needed time with you spirit told you maybe you guys were so tired you're like oh, i'm tired i don't i really don't feel like doing this i'm saying spirit speaking to you guys that you need to spend some time with yourself and you chose to spend time with yourself it is important to listen to what you need for yourself because some of you guys need to take rest okay spend time with yourself not around everybody else doing everything else listen to everybody else you just need some time with yourself to listen to you to the messages god's given to you man how did it feel how does it feel how does it feel how does it feel does it feel good does it feel good does it feel good you don't need anyone or anything else to make you happy and that's where we go wrong, right? We're searching in everything else and in everyone else for our own happiness when your happiness is yours. So spending that time by yourself is probably what you need to realize that you're all you need. I did two today. Oh God, that's it. That's it. But this is going to be all I have to pretty much for today, so... <laughs> leading to do leading others to do the same some of you guys will be teaching other people guiding other other people maybe just having a conversation with a friend and saying hey you know i went through x y and z and this is how i handle it and you make this you know just having a conversation with someone and not even knowing that you're passing on the information and the knowledge of what you guys have attained from what you've already been through you could be helping someone else come out of a hard place and you not even know it. So don't keep this information to yourself. If you know how to get out of this hard time and you knew how hard it was and you had to do it by yourself and you may not have had any help, someone else is having a difficult time, help them. You knew how that was to go through that, help them. It's a choice. You ain't got to, I mean. Me? We speak to you saying help them. But it's your choice. Bottom of the deck. Things are about to pick up for y'all. I normally only do one, y'all. Things are about to pick up. Things are about to pick up. You may think things are going slow, but no. These are bombs. You can isolate them long enough. Things are about to pick up.
who, as I say, that generation of what's coming in for y'all. You've been working on it, you've been building towards it. Even if you can't see it, we be our we be our own worst critics. We be so hard on ourselves. We be looking at everything that we haven't done, and we forget to kind of sit and look at what we've already done and what we've already accomplished. So take a, take some time to you know sit with yourself and show yourself some gratitude. Be kind to yourself. Look at all the things you thought that you would never overcome. That would be like, oh my gosh, this is impossible, and God made it possible. Ain't that the like, truth? Sit, we sit with that. Sit with that for a little bit. Okay. There were times where I was like, you are you didn't no see it. Where you used to and now on the so other side of it, I'm like, it's wow. Just that. It's yesterday. So if you made some, you feel like you made some messed up decisions or you didn't do things well yesterday, guess what? Today's a brand new day. It's an opportunity for a brand new beginning. Yesterday is the past. Okay? I love her. She is. She's one of my um, online spiritual you guys advisors. Are, you She's guys so are good. Destiny, Destiny for the Generation of Wealth, Material Wealth. So you're definitely like you're you're definitely destined like it's it's within you guys like your birthright to have the finer things in life. I thought this was what that song was. Like nothing else came out. Let's see what came out here. Again, like I said, spending some time with y'all stuff. Y'all been resting. Yeah, I have. I've been so tired. Rest, sitting outside in the sun. Why I said, well, didn't I say that? Say this and it came out and it definitely came out. Some of you guys are going to, when I say money going to be so good to y'all, when it's going to flow in so well for y'all. Some of you guys are going to be able to take a break, take a vacation, and just be like, whoo! Wow. You know what I'm saying? I claim it. <laughs> this is for you. Whatever this is, it's for you. I claim it. It's for you. I've been working hard, y'all. So hard. Mom. Every time I say that, I get emotional, but I really have. have. Evolution. You guys are evolving. You're definitely going through like a state of e like evolution. You guys have a strong connection with the divine. Oh my gosh, when I say money's coming into y'all, it's coming in because you guys are what? You're doing the work on healing from your past trauma. This is for you. When I say it's for you, it's for you. It's for you. Y'all don't understand. I needed this message. <laughs> the inside work is hard. I don't want to get emotional. When you're working on yourself, it is hard. But you're working on yourself to be the best version of yourself so you can live the life. Right. <laughs> you're loving on you. This is all about you. It's all about Woo, it's all about you. It feels good, though. Doesn't it feel good? Doesn't it feel good? It's all about you. It's all about you. You don't need anyone to put you first. You have to be that person for yourself. And now that you're doing it, how does it feel? Loving on yourself. Doing you. Doing things you like to do. Okay, not being affected by somebody else telling you you, you can't do that or downing you on, on what you know what I'm saying. Like, no, you're doing what you want. All right, so ask me what I've been doing. <laughs> After I made breakfast, y'all, it's three o'clock. And what happened was, <laughs> see, what happened was, uh, no, what happened was, I went and took the trash and the recycle. Okay, so all the trash in the recycle is gone. And then I came back inside and I ended up getting stuck on two different lives of my, with some of my favorite spiritual people on TikTok. And they were on live. And I basically, it was like two or three. 
And the thing about live is, like, there could be short lives, but nine times out of ten, like, when you're dealing with the spiritual stuff, like, <laughs> it's going to be about an hour or more, right? So, it's three o'clock right now, y'all. And I should have been done editing my YouTube. I don't know why I cannot. Uh, this is why I wanted to go to a coffee shop, because I felt like I wouldn't be as distracted, but it's like there's nothing really going on. I don't have people here. I don't have children. Um, <laughs> I don't have a boo here or anything like that. Like that would like my attention would be elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? It's me distracting myself. <laughs> I don't know why I just cannot hunker down and edit this fucking video. Okay. I'm mean, like, this is how I have to talk to myself sometimes when I'm just like, oh, and I got a package. I don't know if y'all can see it. Probably not. Not in the, um, hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can. Okay. Well, no, I don't think you can because I've made the mirror, uh, the focal point. But anyway, I got this new, um, case that came in. It's fire and it happens to be pink. And so I got distracted with that because when I saw that I had a delivery from FedEx, I was like, ooh, let me see what package this is. And opened the package and then took off my old case, put on my old new case. And <sighs> okay. So, yeah. So now I'm updating you. It's been, what, two minutes of updates. Okay, y'all. All right. Okay. I'm about to do it. <sighs> okay. So Monday, I mean, we've accomplished some things. Well, let's not look at the fat on my arm right now. <laughs> I need to tone up. I got to get my ass in the gym this week because I got all these gym clothes and I got to get in the gym and tone because like as I'm losing weight, like I don't want to have loose skin or anything like that. And so I know I need to tone. It's just me getting the gym is just and it's not just OK, like if you're a plus size person or a bigger person like your issues with the gym it really is the gym itself like I think I'm an anti-gym person I think I would do better with classes or like a place specifically for women like I don't really know like I'm trying I'm still I need to research on TikTok like some really inviting places because the thing about me is working out has to be fun it also has to be different like I can't have the same sort of routine I can't go like it has to be switched up some like I just know that that's just me so I know anyway I'm just trying to get it together because you know we're getting slim and trim around here the body is thinning out and stuff <laughs> um but yeah mm. oh stop focusing there we go okay y'all okay 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 i'm going i'll see you guys once my vlog is done i promise <laughs> looking crazy um i'm about to get in the shower and do all my stuff i woke up at 7:45. I went to sleep at four. Um, I have a little bit of indigestion. So that's what kind of woke me up. Um, I think certain foods that I've been eating, I should not have been eating. And I know I knew better when I was doing it, but I, you know, it's like, oh, it'll be okay. I'm not going to have that much, you know. The pizzas and the onions and stuff like that. So. I'm paying for it right now and I'm just hoping that it's gonna go away with all of my um, with what I just took my heartburn medicine and stuff because it's my birthday and I really don't want to not be feeling well so yeah I'm just gonna um, fast today though um, just water maybe tea because um, I think my body just needs a rest so anyway I'm about to shower um, Good morning and happy Thursday? Tuesday. <laughs> happy Tuesday. Um, today's my grandmother's birthday, so I just text her happy birthday. I'll call her later on. She's 75. Um, so we have a lot of August birthdays in my family. Um, I used to be the last August birthday, but um, I have a little cousin, a uh, little baby cousin. Well, not a baby anymore, but she's the baby of the family, so. 
Um, but yeah. <sighs> Let's get this day started, I guess. We got a lot to do. Okay, y'all. So, I'm in the car. Um, let me put my glasses on because the sun is sunning. Yeah, was he holding up this whole entire line to turn? Stupid. <laughs> y'all, I have no patience for non-drivers. Like, none at all. No patience. Um, and I hate waiting. <laughs> what song is that from? I know the song, but I can't, I can't come to mind right now. Um, but anyway. I don't know. My energy wasn't fucked this morning. But I will tell you that... Um, I don't know like I just I'm working on limited sleep I went to sleep at four o'clock woke up at seven because I was having indigestion which I think is slowly dissipating thank god because I did not want to go into my birthday sorry y'all I didn't want to go into my birthday with feeling that way but I don't know my energy is just a little I don't know <laughs> um It's nothing that's wrong. Like, nothing's wrong. That's what I have to keep reminding myself. Yeah, what are you doing? Stupid ass. Nothing is wrong. Um, I just have to keep saying that to myself. Like, today's going to be a great day. Uh, it's a choice to have a great day. It's a choice to have a good day. Um, you know, I just have to keep repeating to myself that. Because it's, it's nothing is visibly wrong. I couldn't tell if that was a cop or not. So when I realized I didn't have on my seatbelt. Um, but anyway, so I'm just trying to get my energy together because nobody likes a fucking chotch. That, that's an internal word that me and my family say. Chotch just means, um, yeah, like you're just being, mm, how can I describe it? It can mean a whole bunch of things, okay? It just depends on how you're using it. You could be extra. You could be acting dumb. Did I? I was making sure I didn't pass it. You can be acting dumb. Um, just, like, annoying. Uh, you're being a chach right now. Like, that's just how it is. So, like, I feel like I'm acting a little chachy. So, um, yeah. Not make sure that nobody's clipping me um i just need to reverse but it looks like that i'm not going to be able to because i don't know what you're doing there's a lot of traffic right now and i realized the time that this was happening is nine o'clock and oh thank you i realized that this the time that this is happening hold on person like damn i'm just trying to go just trying to go right here that's it um i just re is that not working okay i just realized the time that this was happening is nine o'clock and you know people getting ready for work or whatever <clears throat> or heading to work going into the office all right so anyway i am coming to the atm right now damn did somebody just pull up behind me yeah <laughs> okay um i always gotta keep my head on a swivel because people be doing some weird ish wait till this person gets out because I don't know what they're doing. Um, I decided to come to the ATM, get some cash out and stuff like that. So already I'm trying to like think ahead on things that I need to do today. Um, and then we're going back to the house. I don't know because my brother's doing laundry right now if he's going to want to get content for himself today. Um, if so, that might be later on today because it's mad early. Um, it's 9.18 right now. <laughs> that number is significant for me confirmation um but yeah i don't know if he's gonna want to get content he's doing laundry right now so i'm gonna after i get this cash i'm going to head back home and then start like looking at my outfits trying stuff on so this is very much like you guys gonna be around, be with me while i do this stuff um i do have two gift cards for sephora no no substantial money it's only 20 dollars total um and i'm trying to think if there's anything plus i have a birthday gift um but i'm trying to think if there's anything that i need um but hold on y'all i'll be right back okay let me go do this real quick i hate when people do that like I'm about to get out and then you pull up 
right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'll just wait a second because one thing about it, two things for sure. This pink is going to be uh, get some stairs. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have to pull my dress down when I get out the car because I, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's kind of not not sheer or see through, but I mean, you, can, you can see <laughs> you can see some stuff. All right, let me get ready. To, let me get ready to head out. Oh, this is very busy. I should never have come at this time. <sighs> yeah, y'all. I couldn't get in here graceful because eyes. All eyes on me. Yeah. That's what it's giving. <sighs> okay. So, taking out some. I hate when. I used to work in finance for <laughs> almost a decade. I know y'all like, damn, how old are you? I got that the other day at the salon. They were like, wait a minute now, how old are you? Um, Very young. Okay. But one thing about it is I hate when cash is not in the same direction <laughs> uh, or folded up edges. Like, ew. You know what I'm noticing, too, is how much like I don't know if it was because of like the COVID variant or whatever, but how many places do not accept cash? But yet, at the same time, some places only accept cash. Like, parking places only accept cash. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. My AirPod just uh, connected. Parking. He is flying. He was driving a Porsche Cayenne. Let me roll this up because y'all could probably barely hear me. Um, but, yeah, parking places only take cash. But, uh, you know... But then some places only take cash app and Venmo, and then other places only take card. Like, it's just very confusing. So it's like, the people that say, oh, cash and carry, good luck. I guess it depends on where you live, because here, you're not gonna make it. And really and truly, you can't just have all card here either, because girl, if you're looking for a parking space, especially in downtown LA, good luck with that, because they're like non-refundable cash only, like, you know, you gotta have both, basically. Um, but yeah, please, please move out of my way, thanks. Um, my, I did remember to put on my seatbelt, y'all. I know. I used to be so good about putting on my seatbelt and wearing it, like, the proper way. But y'all, I do have piercings. Like, it's obvious at this point. Like, people were going to be able to tell it is what it is. Like, I'm an open book. You can fucking see it through my clothes. But I have big boobs and also I have piercings. And it's just uncomfortable for me. Even when I uh, bring the little seatbelt thingy all the way down so that it's not like choking my neck, it's still uncomfortable the way that it lays. And I know like I have doctors as friends and stuff like that. And they're always getting, well, they're getting on me about like make sure that you wear it the proper way. Cause like you can like, you know what I'm saying? It's meant for a reason. My mom was suggesting that I find like get one of those little padded things. But really that's fucking hideous. That's ugly as hell. Um, and also when I'm <laughs> when I, when I'm trying to get it sounds so stupid saying it like this is this is not like real problems okay but um, but for content purposes it just looks ugly like me vlogging right now you know like it would just I don't know maybe I'm in my head about it I'm gonna go back to wearing it because I've never been that type of person I always wear it the proper way but anyway um yeah and then okay here's the other thing that was annoying as fuck to me y'all i do curse like not a lot and it probably seems like a lot because in these two vlogs i have cursed a good amount but it's for emphasis okay um i am a college graduate english major um and so i can use better vocabulary i know that and so i'm gonna start doing that okay but also, I'm gonna be me at the same time. Like, it has to, you're, like, this has to be authentic. Like, if, if I was, would normally curse, like, I just have to say it that way. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it hurts your ears, like, scroll to the next video. Um, but yeah, I don't wanna hear about it in my comments, period. Um, okay. Yeah, let's hurry up, sweetie. Okay. Anyway, um, 
yeah so i've been waiting on stuff to arrive for my birthday because i still don't have a birthday outfit for whatever reason it's been abnormally hard to find that was a butterfly that was confirmation for me to calm down okay <laughs> everything's fine everything's gonna work out i already know it is but it's just like i'm adding like it's unnecessary stress bitch slow the fuck down you see my signal what the fuck But, yeah, racing to go nowhere. You're racing to turn. I'm also trying to turn. Like, relax. Um, it's a lot of traffic. Like, it is a lot of traffic right now. But, yeah, y'all. I had ordered a bunch of stuff from Shein. Like, almost $400 worth of stuff. Sorry, I'm paying attention because people will fucking run into the back of you even though your signal is on. Like, it's the most baffling thing ever. Come on, bro. So much traffic, sorry. Um, but yeah. So, I ordered all this stuff from Shein, close to $400 worth of stuff, and it said it was gonna be here today, then it says, between tomorrow through Friday. My birthday's on Saturday. But the thing about it is, is that I go to Palm Springs tomorrow and I wanted to try to see if anything would work for Palm Springs. Like I'm this one particular white dress I think will really look fire for Palm Springs. So I'm really praying that it gets here. Well, shit, if we leave tomorrow, what am I talking about? I Unless it comes today, and today is the 22nd. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, today's the 22nd. Okay, it's supposed to come from, from today through Friday. So please, Lord, like, let's just pray. At this point, y'all, y'all are seeing this and shit has already happened. But let's just pray that it comes today because at least the items that I'm thinking I'll need for Palm Springs. And then all of it will come before my birthday. But anyway, saying all that to say that I've been meaning to go into my mailbox for days, but we're only down to one mailbox key because we went and got a mailbox key made at uh, Ralph's and it cut it wrong. So we're down to one mailbox key. But anyway, I got this dress from Pretty Little Thing that we're going to try on when we get in there. It's a jean dress and I know it's going to be hot as fuck this week. Um, I'm definitely not wearing it to Palm Springs, but I'm thinking like as a potential for everyday people, but I don't know. We'll see. Um but yeah i really need to make friends with my neighbors because some of them look cool like i'd be wondering like hmm, what do you guys do for work because some of them look like they do content but i can't quite i'm not quite sure um but anyway you know sometimes you just be anti <laughs> but um yeah okay that's his uber yeah he must be going to the airport um not me and people's business lord <laughs> had a stack of mail um along with this package because i don't know why the mail person also stuck this in the mailbox like drop it off in front of the door i don't know um everything's fine y'all i'm wound up but everything is fine everything is fine i'm back home y'all are about to go in there with me i'm gonna walk in my door in my um home and with a renewed attitude because it is a choice to have a good day Y'all just continue to tell yourself that when you're when you're pissed off, when you're annoyed, when you're sad. I've cried a few times this morning, not gonna lie. Um, one cry was out of like gratefulness. The other cry was just out of like, just knowing that there's more that's in store for me and that overwhelmed me and made me cry. Then I, just other stuff. Not to mention that I'm supposed to be, become, uh, become, po suppo if I can talk, I'm supposed to come on my menstrual next week and luckily that's after my birthday because that would have just taken me um so I think that I'm getting that sort of the symptoms of just emotions <laughs> ah, you know I don't know how many women follow me I need to look at my analytics on here on YouTube but like I mean I don't care man woman like they them whomever but I'm really like my content is catered to women so I'm really also trying to I need to look at my analytics for that and find more people um to engage with on YouTube that are women because I feel like the stuff that I go through and talk about women would be able to relate um and that's no shade masculine feminine like no shade on you know none of that but I mean I'm a woman and other women would feel me especially other black women so 
Um, yeah, so hopefully as I upload more and more engaging vlogs and do cool-ish, um, you know, I will attract more um, female viewers. No shade to the guys, like, hey, but this is really for the women, like, no lie. Um, this is for my, for my gals, um, cause y'all gonna understand everything that I be talking about. Um, yeah, but I'm excited for everyday people on Saturday, y'all. Like, now I'm starting to get excited. Y'all, I'm a roller coaster today, roller coaster. And my brother was, like, trying to hype me up, like, you don't have a great birthday, like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But now I'm just like, okay, let's get it together. Um, but it's our first time going to everyday people and... I'm trying to be seen or whatever um, pop out because it's actually going to be on my birthday and um, who knows you know meet meet some people meet a person um, you know just kind of live my life basically live my life because um, sometimes I just be so like everyday routine or I, I just have to check myself and remind myself like I don't have currently I don't have any obligations and that's not to say like I don't want children and I don't know how we got here but we're here now <laughs> I don't want children and I don't want to get married well first of all those were things that I never wanted or at least I told myself I never did like that was one of the things that I would let um let me turn off my car so I don't burn no gas you know, when any um, guys that I engaged with or whatever, I would just let them know, like, listen, I'm not trying to trap you. If anything, you're going to try to trap me because I'm a unicorn. I am one of a kind, literally. And I tell every person that. Um, yeah, you're going to love it over here, but you're not going to love it too much because I'm not going to give you that much. You know, that was like my, I think, defense mechanism. And uh, but anyway, saying all that to say, like, I want those things. But currently, I don't have those things yet in my 3D reality. And like, sometimes I'm just like, ma'am, <laughs> like, you are single. Um, You currently do not have children. You don't have a boyfriend currently. Like, you need to go live your best life like this is the time to do it because soon you know what I mean whatever soon is like I don't know whatever the universe says it's gonna be but soon you're gonna be you know in a committed relationship um married and children and have this incredible life um that's vastly different from what you're living now not like not in a negative way or anything like that but like you you know you'll be living a different you know aspect of your life um you'll have other people to consider um and that sort of thing other people to share your time with so right now it's like my selfish season like it really is it's me being um and selfish has such a negative connotation but I love I mean it is what it is like I don't know what other I need to google another word for selfish but the selfish your selfish season I don't think anything's wrong with saying that where you're completely focused on self um what makes you happy what you like what makes you come <laughs> like you know what I'm saying like what turns you on um like yeah I always forget I'm on social media I'm on YouTube like certain things y'all get what I'm saying YouTube I'm a full-fledged adult and everybody that's watching this are adults but y'all know what I'm saying like you know what I'm saying when you're single now that's not to say I'm not a lover girl like I'm a lover girl I'm a romantic like I love intimacy I love cuddles like I love that like I am a romantic through and through anybody that knows me like especially uh well knows like Casey you be fronting like you this thug but you really sensitive and you really like a lover girl and it's true but I'm just saying like okay like sis you're single it's summertime your birthday is this week like turn up you got pink hair like you know what I'm saying let me let me take the glasses off so y'all don't think I'm all Hollywood um my skin is looking pretty good today actually I just need to put some SPF on I've been putting stuff on my, these dark marks that's also been bothering me um so I, when I go to the fit uh, the esthetician to get a facial on Friday I'm gonna ask her like how best to fade this like how can we do this sis and I'm excuse me I may end up having to go to Sephora and spend that $20 on a concealer that like getting matched for a proper concealer or something I don't know I'm supposed to get my eyelashes done um oh let's just cut back on so hopefully y'all can hear me I'm supposed to get my eyelashes done um today my very first time like it's just being done by um a family friend <laughs> um and so yeah it'll be my first time but I feel like I need some little drama because I wear contacts now um and have been for about 
almost, I don't even know, a year, a little less than a year. Um, cause I used to be a glasses wearer and then I was just like, let's just get contacts girl. Like what? But anyway, but because my hair is pink and that's va va voom, like I feel like I don't want like overly dramatic, like crazy ass lashes y'all. Okay y'all. So this is the dress from Pretty Little Thing. I'm going to step back. I have y'all up there. I don't know. Actually, I think it's going to be too tall. Completely zipped up. I need to try to take this to... I wonder if I can go to an alteration place to see if they can put a little... You know those little um, latches that they can put um, on the zipper so that it won't continue to slide down? Because y'all get the gist. You know, a little bit of... <laughs> A little bit of back fat, but we getting that together. But look at that booty, okay. <laughs> anyway, it's a mermaid bottom. I'm gonna include the image of what it looks like. But sis is serving. This is a size 16. <laughs> Your girl is having some progress, y'all. Seriously. Um, and it fits, like don't be, don't get it twisted just because this just came down. It was literally all the way zipped up, but it's something going on with the zipper like it doesn't stay so if i do plan to wear this on my birthday or my brunch i need the back of this dress fit so probably gonna have to go to um i'm probably gonna have to go to get it altered is what's probably gonna have to happen but hmm. this is a different jean than it looked like on the website this is lighter and but i still like it it's just normally like if i would have seen this color on the site i wouldn't have ordered it because i'm usually not a fan of this type of wash but the one that they had on the site would have been perfect um which is also why brands have to be mindful about their lighting and taking pictures because like that happens a good amount of times where you'll get something and the wash isn't the same or either indicate like the wash may not be as pictured or something like that but then if that's the case girl then i'm not even gonna order it hmm. but hold on once he comes back in here i'm gonna see if he can zip it back up <laughs> okay so i have on this swimsuit um it's just a white swimsuit um but my idea, this would be for Palm Springs, obviously. I just gave away a white collared shirt to my sister. Um, we kind of swapped because this was my shirt and I didn't realize she took it the last time she was here visiting. And I got a new white collared shirt, which was, I didn't like the fit of it. It was from a collaboration with Finesse. Um, if you guys never saw that because only two of the things really fit. And I gave the rest of the stuff to my mom and sister. So. The way that she did it, it was really cute. Hmm. I feel like potentially cute because like what it was is like, I don't think, she, I don't know if she was at the beach. I have to look back at the picture. I mean, not she wasn't actually on a beach, but like it was kind of like a lifestyle thing, but she just had on a like oversized button up and then just like, it looked like a swimsuit to me. It could have been bras and panties, but um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of like it. I think it's cute. Um, it works because it's blue and white and the bathing suit is white. And my vibe for Palm Springs is like very just like, you know, obviously <laughs> I have the pink hair and so I'm going to stand out in that way. Um, you know what I don't like is like in the mirror and like in certain places it, it looks better than what it is I just feel like my hair is not coming across super cute on this vlog um in person it's cute I don't know now I'm like I think with shades okay so maybe that's what it is I'm missing to like really elevate this So I have these, they're okay. And then these have been my holy grails. They're the Lueve dupes. But I've worn them so many times on my Instagram now. Okay, maybe not those. I don't know. I don't 
don't know why I thought this would hit a little bit better than what it is. It dyed my hair a vibrant color, but really for this trip in this week, I really needed my hair to be blonde. Can you tell I'm starting to feel away right now? I mean, it's cute. I don't know why it's not. Maybe because the shirt is wrinkly. The shirt is huge also, but it's supposed to be the whole picture is supposed to be oversized. She didn't have it buttoned. She just had it like this. to overwhelm me can y'all sense my overwhelmness like i went from the dress fitting but the zipper going down to what i thought would be a cute thing because i found it the other day cute outfit inspo i don't know my body's looking a little flabby right now i should have fasted this whole week <laughs> Okay, so ask me how much we got accomplished. I'm just showing myself grace today because obviously today has been a roller coaster ride for me and I'm not quite sure why. I want to chalk it up to hormones, but really, I don't really know what it is. I don't like to, I don't like to not be prepared. I also don't like when I like I get over myself, you know what I'm saying? I get very impatient with myself and I've been working on patience for the past year because um, it's something that I really struggle with and I find that like I've gotten better. I'm sorry, I look a mess. I don't even have on um, any lip stuff. I'll put someone in a second. I find that I now have more patience with people, but like I still struggle with giving myself patience and showing myself grace. So, yeah, I'm going to, so the only outfit that we have, I finally, I kept on that swimsuit for a while. I tried it back on. My brother said it looked good. So I was just like, okay, I think I'm going to try to go to the beauty supply store and buy another pair of the Lueve dupes. Um, these, but in white, because I feel like that'll like tie the outfit together and make it look intentional. So the vibe for the content and for the day trip, um, or I guess I'll say overnight trip, is like nudes and neutrals and stuff like that because obviously the Yara Hotel, which is where I'm going, is a boutique hotel and it's very like your nudes, your browns, like things like that, blacks and stuff. So my update on my Shein package is it hasn't gotten here yet so some of the things that I was thinking I would be able to wear I don't know so I'm just gonna pack as though this is what I have and I don't feel like going shopping and going to go like find outfit like I'm not I just cannot I cannot do it like I really don't have the mental nor the physical capacity for that today. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I'm chalking this up also to limited sleep. Um, I need to ground myself. I need to meditate. I think that's what it is. Because <laughs> like even talking about it is making me emotional. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Let me let me try on this next thing. Let's just do it. Like. I just don't want to pack a whole bunch of shit and I'd be like and I get there and be like what the hell and my content be horrible like okay all right okay y'all hold on let me put this on and I'm gonna come back okay so this next fit I don't know I'm trying to think of something like cute and casual um Y'all can't even see the whole outfit. I don't know why all of a sudden this camera angle is very questionable. Let's try this and see if that works. So this is just a little um, 
cute kind of sports bra thing. It's not really a sports bra because it ain't like if you were to work out in this, it would be everywhere. But I love it because it gives me like, it's like a tanny taupe, not taupe, like a cream color. Um, and these jeans I just got because these were going to be uh, the jeans that I was going to do that DIY on. But um, my brother was like, <laughs> no. Um, so I'm just keeping them regular. They're super wide leg. Um, I wish you guys could really see. What's the point of me even showing you if you can't see, right? Um, so they're super like wide leg or whatever. I know you're thinking, Casey, you're going to be in the fucking desert. Like, but these are breathable. They're like a very, I don't know if you can see. First of all, I had to size up in these. Um, but they don't have any stretch, but they're still, like, I still have room. I still don't know if I'm going to keep these. Like, I don't know. I'm still debating. Um, your girl's going to take them. I'm going to keep the tags because, but yeah. And then these are the shoes that I actually got from Target a while ago, like, a couple weeks ago. And they're just, like, cute. And I feel like this will fit the vibe with whatever I wear. So, I don't know. The only thing that's kind of throwing it is I don't know if this is like making it too casual but if you guys can picture like I would wear it um, with gold so it'll be like all of my gold accessories and stuff like that to look real luxe and um, potentially it could work so I'm just gonna pack this because yeah and I was trying to get some inspiration online but girl that was taking too long um, and I just did not have the Okay, so this dress I had gotten from H&M, um, and I think it's cute. It's breathable. It's kind of a slinky material. It would be cute for dinner or whatever. Um, it has like a little, you know, what you call it on the side. It kind of comes down like this. So it's only attached like through here. I don't know if this is supposed to be cut. I feel like it is though, cause I feel like it's supposed to show more skin. I don't know, I might need to check with my mom and see what she thinks, but I'm pretty sure, right? Don't y'all think that this is supposed to be cut and then this is supposed to be open? I have a dress like this. It's actually similar to the white dress and I don't have this on the side. So um, picture this with gold, dripped in gold, right? Cute little um, nude heels. I don't have any control top, I'm hella bloated. <laughs> can y'all sense the sass can y'all sense the sass of my I'm over it Trini something like this just do a whole nude look so I think that'll be cute it's gonna be what it's gonna be hmm. okay again I'm not wearing anything underneath okay so uh, we don't have any control tops, bra or anything, um, just cause yeah. So this is this dress. I wore it to dinner when my parents were here, but I noticed that it had a small hole. It came to me that way, like this is like brand new. Um, so my mom sewed the little small hole in the back. But you know, this is cute. And it's like a faux like linen blend uh sort of texture but like i don't know how to describe it but you guys can see you know very breathable these two as well as my other ones these are the sunglasses so i'm only taking three because it's all gonna like be able to go with the color scheme you know what i'm saying like these you know obviously you saw those so I'll get the little cases for them. So that's this dress. I'm to kind of do it like this because I don't have any of the undergarments and stuff like that. Um, and I'm not trying to get flagged on YouTube. So, um, but it's this crochet little set. It's a tank as well as a skirt. I figured this would be cute. It'll fit the vibe. It'll match either of those. I'm also gonna bring some sandals. Sorry for the noise. I have my door, my window open. Um, I think these are the only nude based heels that I have so yeah um, I think I will bring some sandals though 
Okay, and so even though I have a lot of nude bathing suits um, packed or I was going to, um, I was thinking it might be cute to have on a black one. So these black swimsuits I have never worn. Um, they're very cheeky, so I'm not gonna turn around. But yeah, it's just a simple black one piece. Shoulder off, showing a little boob stain. We're showing hips, body, a little bit of everything. Um, so I think I'm gonna pack this because the only other bathing suit that I had that is new, um, that's black, is this one, which has like the mesh. But y'all, it was a bitch trying to get into this. Well, that was before I started losing weight though. But the mesh makes it like hardly any stretch. That could be cute. Hmm. But that's what it looks like. Off the shoulder, little mesh number. And it has mesh right here, which is cute. I think I'll take this. I don't know if I'm gonna try it on because like I said, I'm feeling hella bloated. Um, I don't usually do cover-ups, like, but I do have this black scarf from Shein that I actually use to wrap my hair, like, do my little hair wrap or whatever, but, um, I could, you know, do a little makeshift sarong, because it is long enough. Yeah. See? I could do like a little, you know, sarong moment and make it look like it's supposed to be. So I think I'm gonna do that. Take both of these swimsuits and take that. Um, you guys have seen this swimsuit countless times. Y'all gonna make me try it on? All right, I'll try this next swimsuit on because it comes, well not comes with, but I was gonna pair it with this cover up. And I'm only taking cover ups because it's just an added thing because some of this stuff I've already worn and um, has been seen on my page before. So I'm just trying to switch it up some. So yeah, okay, be right back. Okay y'all, so this is this swimsuit. Um, I have two of them, one's light colored. This one's dark, but I think I'm gonna do this one because I rarely wear this one. So it's like a dark brown bottom, tanny taupe top. And this is a cover up that I've yet to wear. <laughs> If you can call it a cover-up, because she's, she's a little, <laughs> so I'll show you. She's like a mini dress. <laughs> okay. Yeah, when y'all see how, now it does ruche on the side, so I think I can kind of pull down the ruching some but you know it's giving mini dress <laughs> and the back you know. okay y'all and i'm thinking like it's hella simple but i'm thinking just wearing this um as a road outfit for the road tomorrow while we're in the car because it's supposed to be like 107 degrees and yeah, I just feel like it's low key. I would change into something nicer once I get there and take my shower and stuff like that. Um, so I think this is just gonna be my road outfit. Um, and then I may bring one of my little, see, the only thing is it's black. See, that's the thing. Um, hold on, let me see. Cause I have super like, colorful sets but i'm being mindful of the pink now um i did not think that through oh i forgot i got these um dupes of you know <laughs> for some reason people don't say it on here i don't know if that's a reason but the skims dupes y'all from shein um they had them in black and then tan so the tan is cool around the house. So I think I'm gonna take these for inside the room just for like one of my content purposes, just to have on something neutral to match the decor. Um, and then for in terms of riding back tomorrow evening, um, I'm just going to wear the black set. Let me find the top. 
Yeah. And then, so it's like a little set, you know, a little crop top thingy and then the cute little shorts. So, yeah. See, it's all coming together. I just need to get up and do it. I just was kind of overwhelmed because like, I don't know, like I started to compare myself in a way of like, what do I really have to bring? Like, what is it giving, you know? And it's like, girl, you're going to have a good time and enjoy your birthday. Like it shouldn't, it should not be stressful. And the minute that it becomes stressful, you're doing too much, you know what I'm saying? Like it's supposed to be a relaxing time and I have to keep reminding myself of that. So, and I'm, the funny thing is, is like I'm packing all of this. It really is because of content because really low key, high key, like I'm gonna be at the pool y'all. Like I'm gonna be at the pool. Um, we have dinner reservations tomorrow night. So there's a dinner dress. And then like, it's really the pool. If it's not for the content purposes, like I, my little bag would just be two or three outfits. Y'all, why am I packing like I'm going off to war? Like seriously, like I'm going on a multi-day trip. I have this cute little romper. That's cute. And it's tan, taupey color, you know? So I'm gonna pack that. And then this is my favorite romper because the body is bodying, okay? And it gives me like retro vibes. So I think I'm gonna take this. Just for around the room or whatever, around the little hotel. Um, okay. All right, so I think we're done. We're as done as we're gonna be, okay? Was that chaotic? Yes. Is Casey normally this chaotic when um, having to pack? No, I'm actually usually very much um, have it together. But there were multiple factors as to why, <laughs> why I wasn't together. So that's okay. We're gonna give ourselves some grace. Um, that was authentic, real moments. <laughs> I actually saw a vlogger a couple of weeks ago have like a, I think she was having a panic attack um on screen i don't know if she is diagnosed with him or knew that that's what was happening but i could readily like see that her anxiety was like through the roof and she was having a panic attack but she was so overwhelmed and um those are real moments like you know vlogs are cool for showing you fun shit and partying or whatever but it's like real life stuff like people get stressed people get overwhelmed people curse people have periods people like you know what i'm saying like you know if you're looking for something real, you came to the right place. If you're looking for something fake, well, maybe there's somebody else that'll float your boat. But yeah. And um, I am gonna take some like sandals because obviously I'm not gonna be healing it up. <laughs> but I'm taking um, these two pair that you guys saw. And then these two pairs. So I thought these would be cute little kind of espadrille type sandals for some of my black stuff that I have, like my swimwear stuff. And then some cute, you know, you guys have seen these, just clear heels, just in case I like the look of the clear better with the outfits. Yeah, not bad. Um, this bag has been under my bed and I don't play around about that. So I pulled out a little towel so that I can, you know, put everything in here. I actually need to wipe this bag off because it is hella dusty, hella dusty. Let me show you. Okay, y'all. All right, so I don't have my packing cubes because my sister has them all. Um, my packing cubes and my shoe 
uh, organizers. I'm just tired of buying stuff, to be honest. So <laughs> it's looking a little chaotic, but I swear it's a rhyme or reason. I just, I'm not a good folder. Okay. So on this side is all my swimwear outfits, swimwear cover-ups and stuff like that. In the middle are my actual like outfits, like this crochet set, the um, bralette and the jeans. And then over here is all of the like loungewear athleisure stuff. Um, and then the next thing that I have to do is just finish putting my um, accessories in this little bag and that'll go in here. Um, the shoes, like I said, I'm going to have to actually have a separate bag for it because I don't like to have my shoes in the same bag as my clothes. Or at least I like to have a barrier between them because I just think that's gross. Do what you want. That's just my personal opinion. And then my dresses are going to be in a garment bag. I got to get another one out of my brother's room. Um, he just got these garment bags from Amazon. Uh, he was looking. He was like, I need something to put my nice stuff in. And I was like, just get the garment bags off of um, Amazon. So, yeah. Um... I'm going to set you guys up and then we're going to go over the accessories. Okay, hopefully that was recording because I did see that it was on cinematic mode. And, oh, child, I cannot. Um, okay. This is making it look super dirty. So, hold on. <laughs> Today has been exhausting. Let's just say. Exhausting. Um... I just wash my sheets and stuff like that so that's why I'm being like extra and I'm glad I did because I knew something was going to be in here okay so I'm pretty much doing gold I don't think I should bring well I am wearing black so I might want silver so um I'm like packing all of my you guys can't even see any of this shit but <laughs> packing like all of my rings and stuff Okay, so packing those. These are usually cute, like these little drop earrings, dingle earrings. Um, I'll just bring them because they might be cute with something. I'm not really, um, I'm not really matching things up necessarily. I'm just kind of going with what I think bag now you see the Virgo coming out <laughs> now that I got through all the chaos you can actually see what packing typically looks like for me sorry y'all um, um, okay all right so earrings small earrings in here rings in here I'm sealing those up and then bracelets in here uh, and I can probably fit a few of because this is pretty deep so okay so I was able to put like my specialty ones in there um, and then these other ones I could just put in here So I don't think I gave my mom one of the witcher cons, the little bags that I had. So. Okay. All right. Okay. Yay. Um, one thing I did remember is I do have to get my bags out, figure out what purses I'm bringing because obviously I'm not going to bring a whole lot. I'm going to bring like a tan um, bag. I have this pearl one. I don't know. Hold on, I'm gonna pull them out real quick so you guys can <gasps> so you guys can see them. Hold on. So I'm just packing some stuff. These are my favorite makeup wipes from Trader Joe's. Um, the cucumber and citrus, some flushable wipes because if you don't use these, I don't know. Um I have bidets in my home so uh like the one like you know they're insertable where you can buy them up on amazon and hook them up to your toilet um so i have um bidets here but obviously whenever i travel especially i always take wipes um my holy grail um edge control 
stairs. I showed you guys this already. This is my, the toner that I like for now. Um, I am going to take all of my Byredo stuff because I want to do some content with Byredo. So I'm taking my Byredo body wash. I don't know. This may be the only body wash I take because the other ones, unless I have something to pour it into, I don't really have a way to travel with it. So whatever. Um, my favorite face wash from Trader Joe's, uh, Tea Tree. Um, the only deodorant that I will use. Um, if I use a deodorant, it's going to be Dove. Um, and when I say that, it's because like I'll use the ordinary glycolic acid and then I won't have to use deodorant for like days, no smell or anything, um, even in the hot weather. But if I do put on deodorant, that's the only deodorant that, that works for me, um, that goes with my body chemistry and I feel like just like doesn't leave a residue or a smell. Um, mouthwash. And this is a, uh, in case y'all are wondering, this is a pattern bag from Pattern Beauty by Tracy Ellis Ross. It came with a lot of the um, stuff that I had ordered years ago. Um, and I just use it as a, like, you know, ex uh, not accessories, beauty stuff, like beauty and body care stuff whenever I travel. Makeup, this is the only stuff I use. I'm just my little cotton pads. Uh, my little bronzer illuminating powder that that's the only thing I put on my skin I don't wear foundation concealer and then my blue and my black eyeliner and mascara so I'll just put that here my Laneige um let me see yeah I'll pack this because yeah, I need to take that also um, cannot for, almost forgot y'all I would have been pissed and I only have a little bit but this should be enough for overnight but my Trader Joe's body butter I am going to take my Jergens with almond oil because that really gives me a nice shine the other thing that I need to get is sunscreen y'all we got stuff to get okay I'm limiting myself to spending no more than $20 Okay, well, 25, sorry, 25, 30 at the max. You see how we just keep going up? Because I have to get sunscreen, I have to try to get a uh, handheld fan and nail glue because I do need to bring my nails because it's going to tie in my outfits, okay? So, um, like this for a day overnight trip. Can you imagine when I go week and multi-week trips? All right, so I'm taking this bag. Obviously, it'll fit majority of my stuff it'll look good with a lot I'm taking a pop of color because I was just like pink pink it can look cute um I might want to do something with color so might as well have a bag just in case so it, it you know very summery very vacationy so yeah this was the the bag that I was talking about and I know you're like Casey what can you fit in there nothing really girl okay it's really for show show um you could put maybe like a little lip gloss in here that's about it stick of gum your phone won't even fit but it's really just for the aesthetics at first i wasn't sure if i liked it but then it kind of kept growing on me nothing really that i'm taking will this necessarily work with but i'm just taking it just in case i need something a little bit more dressy um and then i'm still fingers crossed that my stuff comes in from shein okay and then this bag i don't know y'all i was hesitant about it because like it's not really the vibe necessarily um but yeah this little strap comes off and stuff i don't know i just feel like i should take a black option just in case and this bag my goodies la bag this is usually the bag that i put everything in and um i also take a goodies bag like this um for my dirty clothes because i like to keep that separate as well don't want that near the clean stuff like Okay, so then this is how we'll just take this. We'll just put all this stuff in here. Yay. So now we're good. Um, and then all my dresses are packed up over there. Got my shoes lined up. That's the only thing. I'm probably going to have to put my shoes in that bag right there that I just packed up. Um, and then we're done. This has been an all-day excursion, y'all. I'm exhausted. Hmm. Alright y'all, I made it to Target. I really just don't feel like going to that beauty supply store just for them to only have the yellow glasses. So I had to come here anyway for 
sunscreen and a fan. But you know, I don't know where this fan is. That's upstairs. So, I'm gonna go downstairs. Hopefully we can find it. Cause that's why I'm here. And this is the one by the house that I'm at. So they rarely have anything. Staying focused up in here because I don't have the time to be spending too much. I'm here for sunscreen, a fan, and sunglasses. I see the sunglasses, so I'm gonna go over there first <laughs> and I'll find everything else. Y'all are gonna be a little crooked because I didn't bring my tripod. How are these? Are these kind of cute? These are kind of cute, huh? Is it? White, white. They're not quite white. Oh, these are different. Yeah, these are different. Oh, I don't like that. Mm -mm. No. Don't like that mirror. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. But hopefully, they have more on this side. Yeah, they have some more. Um, it's weird. It's like white is not a color. But I'm not trying to go all the way to that beauty supply store. That's in Studio City. These are white. And these could work. How much are they? $15. They're $15. I'll walk around with them because I don't know. They have beach hats too, but I have a beach hat. This one is the one like the girls have. How much is this damn thing? $30? Y'all spending $30 on this? Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, man. This is why I like TJ Maxx, but they don't have a TJ Maxx around here anymore. Also, I was watching this girl. I forgot. I forgot who it was. I need to start remembering so I can put them somewhere on the screen. But it's like once you dye your hair, you start, or just like when you buy the car, buy a car, you start seeing that car everywhere. So, um, I got distracted by this one. This one's nice, but this one's $20. It's very nice. Let's hold on to that. Um, but like I was saying, it's like once you dye your hair, you start to gravitate to certain colors. Like this is a pink one. This is really cute. It's twenty one dollars. It's like this one is thirty two ounces, and of course they're playing this music loud as hell. I already got slammed with copyright from YouTube. Um. This one is, yeah, what does that say? Hold on. What's your point? Oh, 20 ounces. What did I say this was? This is 20, and this one is 32. So it's like for $2 more, you get a bigger one. Even though I like the pink, I don't want to get everything pink because it doesn't really go with the vibe. Um, they have this color, which is like a pinky taupe. That one's nice. But I really like this one because this one has a straw. So I can put some ice in it. I don't like the top. I hate the top. I hate that top. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, this one's nicer. I just basically created it my own top. But, um, 32 ounces, 32 ounces. These are in the 21.99 section. I like this kind of. Now I kind of like this one more than I like this one. 
This one still has a straw. It says cold brew smoothies or boba tea because it has the thick straw. This one I feel like is just for water. What y'all think? So I can actually take this to the gym. Whereas this one I can't. So I'll do this one. Copy time. That's a nice straw. Okay. So let's see. I hate when I'm in an aisle by myself and then people just start gravitating. It's like, can I please have some time for myself? Y'all, the funny thing is, is that my uh, budget was $25 and the cup alone is $20. <laughs> so funny. I'm not even gonna, okay, let's, let's just see. I'm curious. I'm curious, y'all. Do they have any new underwear? Not that I need it. I don't need any. Nope. I'm not even going to look. Because I'll end up finding some. And y'all, when I tell you, I have too many pair. Too many. Okay. They are horrible colors. Yuck. I mean, is it necessary? Not really. But... Somebody even sold this. The only necklace fan. I don't want to like. I'm not really into pink enough to get stuff like this, you know. $14.99. I don't know. I feel like I just get a spray bottle for real and just spritz myself off before I buy this ugly thing. This is so funny. Like, you do see me coming down, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if they have my black girl sunscreen. This I like it because it gives me a glow. So this is the one I get. This one has a spray, it's $15.99. Okay, speaking of, let me go check back down. Here. This one is matte for the face, but this is $20. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I wish that this came in a bigger yeah, one, so many a bigger products, spray, but they don't. $15.99. <laughs> I think I still have some sunscreen, so I'm just gonna get this. I'm probably not gonna get these glasses because I'm not sold on them. Okay. Y'all, they smelled horrible. Horrible, okay? Like gross. I don't know. That's B.O. It was disgusting. I don't like to talk about people, but how, how don't you know you smell? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I think I have what I need. I could get a smaller sunscreen. Don't you look sad. Oh, 
these are cute. Four fifty, y'all. Four fifty. These are fire. These are cute. Matches my hair. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, y'all, so they were blasting the freaking music in the fitting room, so I had to just do a voiceover. These pants, I was really going for like a linen relax vibe because I thought it would really fit the vibe of the hotel, but as you can see here, these were so big. Um, I knew it the moment that I got them because I looked at the size that they were going to be oversized, but I wasn't expecting it to be those bi that big, so I was just like, no. These were ill-fitting shorts, like nothing to phone home about. I was like, I don't care that they're on clearance. I'm not going to get them, so it was a no for those. And then I tried on this skirt, which was cute or whatever, but I already have knit skirts and I didn't really like the length as much. So I passed on all three things. <laughs> so $25 became $50. <laughs> But it's okay. It's my birthday, so I got a nice little water bottle because it's going to be hot as hell in Palm Springs. I think I told y'all it's supposed to be like 106 or something like that. So, yeah. I got sunscreen because I needed that. Really nothing I got with this exception of those um, bikini bottoms, but those were only $4. <laughs> so, yeah. my car is hot I don't know how people get in the car so graceful I don't know 444 look at God okay. let me lock my door because hmm, no trafficking here there's a lot of questionable things happening in there it was I guess because the time of day it was packed up in there yeah y'all I was just like bump it I'm not because the thing is I don't even know if the beauty supply store that I go to would even have it because they had blue and they had yellow I don't know where the blue pair are it's the craziest shit ever I cannot find them anywhere and I literally went two places that day the second place was where I purchased them and I came straight home my brother said he checked his car but when we get in the car tomorrow because we're going to take his car to Palm Springs. When we get in his car, I'll double check. Because it just, I don't know. The only thing I can think of, ow, the only thing I can think of is if I threw it away. Like, that's seriously, oh, I have a tripod in here. Probably want to take that with me. Everybody was minding my business. It was annoying. We're heading. I really said I was gonna fast today, but I feel like I'm low on energy and may need to eat something. Y'all, yeah, I'm so tired of the not tired of the veggie sandwiches, but kinda. I feel like I need to eat something. I wonder if it's the cucumber that's bothering me. Um, I may just stop and get a little veggie sandwich from Subway and then head home. 